Hello guys and welcome to the ultimate full stack template course. My name is Zeno and I'm going to be your instructor throughout this course. Now before we get started on the demo, I would like you to know that I created a free React template course that essentially helps to speed up your workflow when you build React apps. So it's something that you should definitely have in your toolkit if you are a React developer and if you build apps with React. This template is going to highly speed up your workflow because we already have most of the things that you need to do when you build React apps. And very interestingly, it's a very responsive template. So that's why I think you should definitely check it out if you haven't. Meanwhile, it's also free. Now I'm taking it a step further to build a full stack template course. Now the question is, why am I doing all of this? Well, the tech space is no longer easy in terms of getting a job and keeping a job. In 2022, there were 200, over 240,000 people were laid off in 2022. In 2023, this is 2023 and the year is not even over, but we've had more than 359,000 layoffs in the tech space. So now more than ever, it's time for you to learn how to take your skills and build something that is a SaaS, which stands for Software as a Service, that can make you money and that users can pay for. That's where I'm building up to. So I started out by building a free React template course and now I'm building a full stack template course. Now let's get started with seeing what this can do for you. Now this is me right here and I'm logged in as an admin user. If I go to my dashboard and I click on these users, you'll see here that currently there's just one user on this application and that user has a role of admin. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new account as a regular user. So right here, I'm going to click on login and I want to log in with Google for now. So I'll click on login with Google and you see here that we have a pop up and I'm just going to select an email and log in. So let me log in with this email and let's see what we have. So I get the notification here that the login was successful and immediately I get to see my name at the top here because I'm currently logged in. Now also if you go to my email, the email I logged in with, you notice that we have this um, new welcome to full stack template email. That is because when new users register on your website, you want to be able to show them like a welcome email, you know, to welcome them to your website and to give them any further information they need. And that's why we designed this elegantly designed template for such a thing as that. Also, let's come back to the website and let's see our profile. So I'm going to come over here, expand this guy and click on my profile. And as you can see, this is what we have. Now I can choose to change my profile image, which I'm going to do just to show you the functionality. I'll select an image and then I'm just going to go ahead and upload that image. And then when I upload the image, we get a notification that the user photo was updated. And now you see, I have this new photo. You can also change your data. And in other words, you can also change the data about the account. So I'm going to change this to Zeno Trust. And then I'm also just going to have a phone number there. Like so, and then I'll click on update profile. So the profile has updated. And as you can see, the data was saved in our database. A profile is something that you're going to have irrespective of what kind of application you build. So we have that as well. Now let's go back to the admin and see what we have there right now. So I'm back to the admin login and I'll just refresh this page. And just by refreshing the page, you see here that we now have two users on the platform. Now we have a total number of two users, one admin, zero authors and zero suspended users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this user role first to author. I'll click that to check it. And suddenly you see here that the users has changed, the user role has changed to author and it has reflected here as well. So this is some kind of analytics on your user base. What I want to show you, however, is that I want to suspend this user to show you the behavior when you suspend the user on your application. I'll click on suspended and check that. All right. So the user has been changed to suspended. Now let's head over to the user's profile and see what it looks like. I'm going to try to refresh this page and you'll see the effects. So immediately it logged me out automatically. I would need to log in again. So let me just log in with the user's account and just see what happens. So I'm logged in with the user account. And as you can see, the user can no longer access the functionalities of the application because we get this notification that the account was suspended and the user should contact 
the administrator if this is an error if i try to go to my profile page you see we have the same notification there so that's one of the things you're going to have to do if you want to have users on your platform there will definitely be people that will abuse your application you want to be able to suspend them also let's go ahead and log out and try to log in with a link so i'm just going to slot in an email here and i'll click on login and immediately we get the notification that a sign-in link has been sent to your email if i go to check that email here you see immediately that i get this sign-in link here and i'll click on sign in to this is my demo account let's see what happens when i do that so i'll click on that and it opens in a new tab and then it redirects me to the website and let's see what happens and then it automatically signs me in if you look at the header here you'll notice that the name of the user has also changed all right so that is how it works and in this day and time most likely you don't want to have to deal with resetting password uh user remembering their password and stuff like that so having them sign in with a one-time link is a very valid way to go in this day and time meanwhile this application is also very responsive so if you minimize it and you click on this guy you see here that it's completely responsive even the admin menu is also very responsive so that's about it for how the thing basic things that we're going to need to have when we build a SaaS. meanwhile if you go to the admin section and you refresh the page here you will see that the new user that just signed in has been added to our list of users so also this users um, part of the application is restricted to only an admin so a regular user like the one we saw before cannot even see this user talk much less of you know seeing this part so what i'm going to do is i'll copy this url and then i'll just go to where this regular user is logged in first of all you see that it doesn't have that tab to see all the users but i'm going to try to log to just open the url of the users so forward slash admin and users and let's see what happens so immediately we get this notification that it's an authorized access unauthorized access and then there's some text and we take the user back to the home page so those are some basic things that you're going to need to have in place if you want to build a SaaS. and there's a lot more you're going to learn during the course of these lectures so i will see you in the lecture i hope you benefit from it see you next